my brother William started. And yes, there will once again be a Sheridan in the White House. Think your FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation, you hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. Janet, I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Wait, what's that? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? you hear me? I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful. Damn it. Janet, I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect, we're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that?
Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. As you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. It's still at the far end of the room. I've fallen into my own trap. Well, well. I don't get this security system. Two Alpha One Eight gunshots heard in Winslow Bank.
Where the hell is he? Anything on your side? Go for it! <clears throat> <Alert! clears throat> Sheridan. Amnesia, eh? Indeed, there is no better defense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Bannon, will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to... What good's a lawyer when you can't remember a thing? Position, you even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching. But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emory, the snapshots, please. Look at this photograph. See the impact on the back of the head. Where did the bullet come from, in your opinion? That building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well, need I get a mirror, or are you finally going to confess to the assassination Agent of- Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? You're not going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon. And they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. 
But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Roland, we're going to... What the hell's going on here? out of those cups. Great to see you again, Steve. Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. And don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? The girl from the bank. The FBI's got undercover officers in Brooklyn. That's where the guy was transferred. Hurry, 110 Sterling Street.
seeing me again doesn't do anything for you, does it? I can't believe it. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. It's not safe here. Over the wall, let's go. Here. I'll go first. Now you! <clears throat> I'm waiting on a call from an informant. He knows where they're holding Carrington. They're out of range. Use the scope. <clears throat> Good job. Go down the other side. I'll cover you. All clear. Cowboys just ain't what they used to be. Look out, sniper!
Here, take that! I shouldn't have let you go on that boat alone. you through without clearance. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Hold it! Stop! No! Let's roll! One more down. We'll move the bodies later. It's easier when they're frozen. Ah! <laughs> 
Rescue Carrington and get the hell out. I'll be waiting for you out back. This can't be good. Is your major malfunction? McCall's gonna kill us! Shut up! I'll pay for the head! Looks like something's going on over there. Wanna go check it out? No. Yes, Colonel.
the crates and start sorting the weapons. We load the truck in one hour. Move your asses! Deactivate the four main generators. They're pumping 10,000 volts through those ladders. So much for a quiet entry. Oh. Really Got me. Colonel McCall's off his rocker. All that just to watch him carry. Don't underestimate him. He's a wily old bastard. Head for the roof. You should find a way in. The map shows a ventilation shaft in the cliff. Use your grappling hook to get down there.
success of zeal will cost us dearly, Colonel. But those were your orders, General. You were to neutralize the GIs, not slaughter them! It's too late now. Tell your men to finish the job. No witnesses. Understand? Consider it done. And what about Carrington? Keep him in the hole. I want the names of all the agents he's working with on the Sheridan case. If he clams up, take his cigars. That'll get the fuck talking.
Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me, son? You hear me? <clears throat> You've got nothing left to prove with this man, son. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. I must question this man. Here's your HF transmitter. Jones. What? What do you mean, Misha? Oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half wit. Let's take care of him. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leak. I'm gonna kill him. There's a ski lift behind the base. Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. Get rid of these clowns. I'll brief Jones. Let's get out of here! 
Did you hear that? Cover me. Set us back, son. Damn, we were so close to finding the bastards. The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. But naturally, none of that rings a bell now. Listen, there are 20 of them, son. 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Captain Steve Rowland was one of them. The notorious number 13. He killed the president, but his accomplices betrayed him and hired the mongoose to kill him. And today, he actually is dead. Well, then, who am I? They're back. Watch out! Get down! The cable's gonna snap! My back! I'll go first and create a diversion. Cover me. Uh... Gotta find a place to shoot the grappling hook. RPG, 12 o'clock. Fall back! Watch out! There they go again! Yeah, go! The chopper's just past the hill. 
we're gonna make it. Watch out! Another RPG straight ahead! The chopper won't stop. I need your help, General. Follow me. Ah! Cover us. I'll take a look at the engine. Okay. According to the map, the cabin should be right under my feet. Well, find a shovel and dig. Yeah, that looks like shit. And you can do better? <laughs> this I can <laughs> Drop 
dropped you a little further than we planned. Don't worry, just find the waterfall. The cabin's on the other side of the river. Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy! My God, you're alive! Kim, the girl in the photo. The surgeon did an outstanding job. He's coming too. Increase the dose of the fentanyl. Shall I start the tattoo? Go ahead. Son. This is the widow of Steve Rowan, the man whose identity you have taken. Steve was number 13. I was 17. The leaders of the conspiracy had my husband killed by the mongoose. But Steve managed to drag himself back here before dying. I've identified three members of the conspiracy. They're headed for the Spads camp to attend a secret meeting. You have to be there too. My part of the mission is finished. 
Now it's your turn. What the? Cover me! Cured, Doctor, may I reintegrate my unit? <laughs> pinhead, pinhead, McCauley's a pinhead. <laughs> Listen, sir, Colonel! Has our new patient recovered his wits? So, my friend, I hear you suffer from amnesia. Yes, sir, Colonel! Shut up! Relax. Plain Rock is blessed with an excellent neurology center. Well, has he spoken? Patience, he only just came to. Number one wants the names of his accomplices. That number 17 imposter may not be the only one who's infiltrated the group. Examine his chest as well. Tell me if you find traces of the three bullets I put in him. I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. I'll take care of it right away. Hose him down and bring him to me.
someone give me directions? Uh, I'm not from around here. Soldier. Dr. Johansson's orders. Derek and Jerry will be disappointed. What's wrong with him? Okay. Oh, you lucky dog. Got the whole bathroom all to yourself. I'm a software engineer. Let me out! Let me out! Don't you get it? If the patch isn't up my two-step, we'll never upgrade from 1501 to 1502, you hear? Never!
Fashion Square thanks you for your patronage and wishes you a very fine day. Thank you, Miss Jameson. Please come again. Why would you talk to me, Miss Jameson? It's not that bad. Come on. Put your head back on. Good evening, Dr. Michael. <sighs> Good evening, Brenda. Anything new in the museum? Still nothing. Good God, Johansson is livid. I can't stand him anymore. I'm going home. Tell him my wife is a tough his partner. My poodle is having a nervous breakdown. Oh, the poor thing. I remember when my Lulu... Whatever, Brenda. See you tomorrow. Congratulate your wife for me. What a nightmare.
come on. Time for your dissection cards. Over here. Sanctuary. There are 20 of us, 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome the leaders of the group to life. And the prestige of these surroundings is keeping the conditions. I hereby give you the opportunity to organize the meeting here. Thank you, thank you. He's in there! Safety's off! Take me hostage! You don't have a choice! Jones, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm flying overhead. Get out of there. Hurry! Oh my god! Open this door, damn it! Oh god, save me! Find the wheel, drive. Okay. Just don't hurt me, please. Alert! You won't get anywhere in this ambulance. We're in the middle of the desert. There's nothing for miles. This is insane. They're gonna kill you like a dog. Watch out! I don't know who you are, but I'll never forget you. Who was 
that. Stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down hard. I stashed the taxi at the bottom of the canyon. Get here fast. The meters run Hmm. <laughs> 
You okay? There's a way out behind the room. The plane's close by. Jones, finally. I feel like I've spent three months inside a tin can. Okay. What do you say we hop on down to Mexico, Captain? Hmm. Margarita's on the beach? More like Rangers and Red Berets. Tighten up your panties. We're going super sun. Colonel McCall runs this badge training camp, and Kim suspects he's part of the conspiracy. You won't be running into many intellectuals down there, mostly black ops and knuckle draggers. This could be another one of that blonde's con jobs. I trust her. Uh-huh. You save her life, and she splits. Jealous, Major? Just get in the damn boat. Watchtower and look out for searchlights. of number 13. Oh, the Mongoos will surely take care of him. Let's not bother number one with this problem. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. My men are standing by, General Standwell. He's been causing quite a ruckus since his resurrection. But our first maneuvers are going ahead as planned. 
I admire your optimism, Colonel McCall. Now, how about a tour of the camp? I'd like to have a look at our weapon stock. Certainly, General. Right this way. Perfect. <clears throat> now find McCall's tent and plant the bug. His name's on the tip of my tongue. Steve Fuller? No, his rival. Oh, I remember. I think General Carrington hired him. That was the last I heard. I got it! Fly! His name was Jason Fly! Hey, Fly! I'm out on leave tonight, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland, the man whose identity I took. Chili. Which ten you're sleeping in again? Yours. I'm gonna kill that cook.
bug behind the intercom. No one can see us here. One, one. Nothing. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. That's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Gather round, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number 3. Good evening, number 1. President Galbrain still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine. The bandits me at the plaza. Over. Number eleven. The arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number thirteen? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue this search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. It was a privilege to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open. I don't know where McCall plans to send his stock of weapons, but we're gonna blow it up.
Nice work. Now get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? I told him not to. <laughs> Bad news, the spaz found the boat. Find another way out. <clears throat> Son of a bitch, he's gonna pay for this! Thirteen! 
Can you hear me? Number one underestimated your skills. He wants to reintegrate you into the group. Drop your weapon, man. Let's talk about this. Why did they stop loading? You hear that explosion earlier? Apparently Steve Rowland did it. She figured I'd take her out to some romantic spot for the weekend.
Reporting is ordered, Captain. I don't want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Yes, sir, Captain. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the shipment. The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. Change your course and cast off from Maryland Harbor aboard Resolute AFDM-10, but carry out your mission.
try to identify the man who answers my call, and we'll finally figure out who number one really is. Number one? Number one? Number 17 reporting. Do you copy? This is number one. What's happening? I passed on the latest plans to number 11. Standing by for your instructions. You weren't supposed to call me until you got the signal. Number 17? Hello? Number 17? I can't read you. Number one. I was so close. I just have to... USS Patriot, report your destination. Over. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10. Over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Four and a half submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye. Here's a nice spot to stow away. Who's there? Battle stations! All hands man battle stations! Close all hatches, and escort me to the torpedo chamber. You, neutralize the intruder. You'll never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
What are they doing in there? We've got less than an hour to unload everything. We've lost contact, Colonel. Has someone at least tried to open the airlock? It won't open. Send down some divers. I want to know what's going on. Yes, sir, Colonel. Jones, do you read me? I'm just leaving the airport now. Carrington's taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 33. Bad place to be. I better turn back.
stay posted. Uh -oh.
General Carrington tells me you have a present for me. Give him Roland's file, son. Captain Steve Rowland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes, killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Rowland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where. Find room 41 and keep out of sight. If our two suspects sense anything, they'll call off the meeting. Winslow's just arrived. He should be upstairs in less than a minute. on his way. He's in the meeting room. Copy, go to 1025. Can you connect me to frequency one? Done. Keep backup units on full alert. Careful, you're losing the target. They're coming, get ready. Ah, the mongoose. Come to report the death of number 13, right? I'm here to ensure your safety, Mr. Winslow. Sensational. We're behind schedule. What's the latest update, number nine? I managed to convince them all. Corporate, finance, even the media. This country's most influential people are ready to support the future regime. I have on me the list of supporters. I'll give it to number three tonight while we wait for battle of the century. What do you think, number five? Perfect. And on my end, the news is rather encouraging. Despite a slight setback, we'll control all of the country's strategic points by tomorrow evening. Through Operation Total Red, we will finally be able to establish our authority. And as anticipated, President Galbraith doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> what the? They've spotted us! Willard and Winslow are heading for the elevators! Cut the power! My team's standing by to intercept! <laughs> 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 
Winslow's returning to the billiard room. Come on! Destroying these documents. I don't smoke, Mr. Winslow. Then give me your gun, damn it! We've lost Willard. He can't get away. You underestimate our power! You underestimate our power!
Infiltrate the sanctuary and find their meeting room. I can't wait to see number one's face. They must be on high alert. Keep out of sight until I give you the signal. <sighs> Sunday we'll fly the anti fouling. Shut up with the boats. Hey, check this out. What? Chopper, over there. No way to you. Everyone around her is a chopper. I'm not going to die. Okay, your responsibility. Fine. If you'll cut me some slack for five minutes. Yes, Your Majesty.
Number one safety is not an issue, General. I'm the only one who knows his identity. An enemy is more effective than an army of bodyguards. The instructions are clear. We're going ahead with operations. In that case, we'd better go reassure our guests. Um, don't forget your robe. Stay posted in this room. Yes, sir. Some banquet. Indeed. Number five wanted to give us a taste of the luxury that awaits us. How will we explain his absence to the guests? I don't know yet. He's not the only one missing. He bought the ruins of his mother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
of our country's elite will soon be heard. Together, we will lay down the foundations of a new America. Proud, strong, and sound. An America purged of all the parasites that have for too long deprived it of its true grandeur. Colonel Amos here. Don't move in before my signal. We need as much information as possible before I launch the assault. units supervising the armed forces will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! <sighs> Let's not keep the buffet waiting, gentlemen.
resupply. I'm sending in a chopper. Senator Walter Sheridan? Harrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. Theirs is a monstrous plan. They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. I'll walk 
you out. Huh?
What is Sheridan doing in SSH-1 during an election campaign? This is sheer provocation. <laughs> Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, sir, just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. Mr. President, sir, the spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of Total Red. Those hotheads? But, Mr. President... Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by McCall. Confound it! Not one machine on this base works! Mr. President... But if you feel they're the best, Calvin, I trust you.
cause. My God! Call off all operations before it's too late! Take the president to a safe place and find Sharon. I've lost contact. Just leave him right here. Mr. President, can you hear me? Okay, he's breathing. Help us, Colonel!
around the strategic network centers. Prepare to declare a state of emergency. When I give the signal, you will order all SPAS units to take control of every base. Listen to me. We can still negotiate. Too late. Give me the access code, quick. The code? This way. If I live through this, I'm going into marketing. This is not good.
Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Flack? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. Bastard. Scare me like that again, and I'll take you out myself. Come on, let's eat back now. <laughs> you magnificent son of a bitch. <coughs> you okay, Wally? Is it really over? You bet your ass. <laughs> Don't tell me you have no information about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. Here he is, Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. Hey, Fly! How do you like my new uniform? Well... Baby, you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? 
Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. Tuxedo. Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. Let's go to the front of the boat, everybody! Wow! Whoa! Fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly. I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? 